Hello everyone, my name is Preston Souza. I'm the 3D printing product specialist here at IGUS North America. And joining me today is Tom Krauss, uh, head of additive manufacturing at our headquarters in Cologne, Germany. Thanks Preston. Today we will answer some of the most common questions we get from engineers about 3D printing. Preston, what size of parts can we print? Many different sizes of parts can be printed. Uh, the build platform is 170 millimeters by 220 millimeters by 300 millimeters. And all different types of parts can fit within this uh, size platform. If parts are larger than this, then we can break them up into multiple pieces and then assemble them after the production process. What types of tolerances can we hold with 3D printing? Parts which uh, have a size for up to 50 millimeters, we have a precision of plus minus 0.1 millimeters. And parts which are bigger, we have a tolerance of plus minus 0.2 percentage. Okay. So Preston, we see this uh, new SLS machine behind us. What's the delivery time in the US? Very exciting questions. The first SLS printer implemented here at IGUS North America and it has allowed us to reduce our delivery times on 3D printed parts, ready for shipment within two to three business days. Engineers commonly ask, what are the differences between 3D printed parts and injection molded parts? Could you explain some of those differences? The biggest difference is, of course, we don't need to have any tools because uh, at 3D printing I don't need tools in general. This means also I don't have any uh, tooling costs, so we can do all kinds of parts very cost efficient from lot size one on. This is the, the, really the biggest difference here. And furthermore, at IGOS we only printing our own Ecliture materials, which are self-lubricating materials, so that we have here materials which have a similar wear resistance to our injection molded bearing materials. Preston, what kinds of parts can we print? You see in front of us here many different custom 3D printed parts from gears to lead screw nuts, rollers, and of course plain bushings. All of these types of parts can be successfully printed uh, as long as the wall thickness is a minimum of 0.7 millimeters. And this is different from machining and injection molding where some very complex parts may not be able to be produced. So these were some of the most common questions we get from engineers about 3D printing. We have lots of more questions answered in our blog. Click to the link below and there you will find much more answers to such kinds of questions. And if you have any needs for 3D printed parts today, uh, please visit our 3D print service at the link below. Uh, you can upload your step file and you can order your parts today. Thanks for watching.